Hello, welcome back, Freddie in the Shed, Freddie in the Shed. I've got a Grant 2 out to do another video, but I thought I would do something here with a Grant 2, try and explain something that people keep asking me. Um, people come onto the channel and they leave a comment and they sort of say, you know, why don't you use uh, FM more? In the UK, FM is the sort of was the first legalised band that we had. We had the 40 channel FM. You know, people say, you know, why don't you go on FM? Why are you always on sideband? Well, because I'm home base, um, basically you tend to pick up quite a lot of noise, quite a lot of QRM all around your local areas. It's the bane of being a home base station. Sometimes it wipes people out. You know, sometimes they get kind of S7 to S8 of noise. So here we are, for example, um, I'm on FM here. Just there's no one on. So what you've got there, you've got sort of three to four peak into S7 of QRM. That, that's man-made interference noise, uh, sort of static electrical devices in my house and also my neighbours' houses. This is a bank holiday weekend. You know, it's raining, everyone's home, everyone's got their appliances running. So as you can see, at the moment, I've got sort of S5, it peaked almost S8 there. So I've got quite a lot of noise. Now that means if a signal comes into me, if they're below sort of uh, S4, I'm, I'm not going to hear them. All I'm going to hear is uh, is that noise level. They need to be above that to basically for me to hear them. And that's sort of you know that means quite rare. That means they're going to have to be probably within about seven or eight miles of my sort of your QTH. Now, for example, if you listen, what I'll do is I'll switch onto sideband and see how quieter the radio gets and watch that uh, interference, that QRM, you watch that drop off. So there you go, that's upper side band and straight away look we're just down to just below S1 now of noise, it's so much cleaner uh, it's so much quieter and at the moment, as I say, being a bank holiday there's a lots of people about, lots of activities in people's homes, but straight away um, you know, you've got more chance to hear distant stations, yes you're going to have to work for it on sideband, you're going to have to use your clarifier to actually to tune those stations in, they're going to be a little bit Donald Duck and a little bit Mickey Mouse and you'll see me on the videos, you're working the clarifier, you know, especially if you get two stations, sort of here and here and one slightly off frequency, you're going to have to work between the two of them, it'll make you work for it but just see how much quieter the band is how much more chance you've got of hearing distant stations i'll just flick that back to fm to show you the difference again so this is upper side band lower side band that's fm that's am that's slightly better fm again and back to side band so you've just got m so much more chance hearing uh, distant stations, especially if you're home base. And that's really why I spend a lot of time on sideband. I get out further on sideband, the signal actually travels further. Not going to get too technical about it, but there's no carrier wave on sideband. You've just got the upper and lower sideband. Your voice is the strength of your signal, not so much power in watts because you've got, you've got no carrier signal, but it's how well your voice... Um, is transmitted over the radio, which is why base station microphones sometimes help power microphones, things like that. But, you know, I get out much better on sideband. I can certainly hear much better on sideband. You have to work for it, but it makes the hobby more enjoyable. So, OK, I just thought I'd explain that because that keeps coming up on the comments. I do go on FM occasionally, but mostly you're going to find me on sideband, and that's really the main reason. OK, cheers. Thank you for uh, watching that. I'll put up a few more suggestions at the end of this video. Um, your views are always very welcome on old Fred in the Shed. But uh, as for now, stay safe and I'll catch you on the next one.